Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Visit squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for more details. What is up and welcome to uh, episode two from Madeira. I'm so excited to be exploring here because I am loving it. The weather's kind of glorious right now, but it seems like it comes in and out. So we'll have to see what happens. And I think on today's episode, we're gonna head up into the highlands a little bit to see what things look like on the top of the island. Let's go. One of the coolest things about Madeira is how quickly you can shift climates. From a warm sunny day on the coast, we twist around switchbacks through cloud forests and quaint villages up to the brisk spring air of the highlands. Okay, so on these scouting trips, we kind of just go everywhere. It's not like just photography. It's literally going everywhere, trying to find photos, no matter what time of day it is, without knowing what's there. So we're at this place that says like Mirador de Balcoas, I think, which would be like the balcony viewpoint. And it's not far off the trail, but it looks like it might be straight up through this forest. So. About a 30 minute walk maybe? 20 minute walk? This place reminds me of the coffee region in Colombia. It's stunning. And there's already some little photos to be had. A short walk takes us through forests so green it almost looks blue. And so fresh it almost feels like walking through a pack of spearmint gum. At the top, the views are epic. Clouds loiter on the peaks, green shrubs cling to cliffs, and orange tiled villages dot the valleys. It's the type you can just stand and observe. It's calm, but at the same time, the weather moves so quickly, it almost feels like living in a time lapse. Craving more altitude, we pressed around more switchbacks and through a heavy cotton candy ceiling of clinging clouds. And soon, we were above it all. So the first view was awesome. It was the balconies, really cool. But then we drove up to, I think this is the highest point. Um, and it is epic, absolutely epic. It's 5 p.m. and there is clouds all below us and we're above it all. A second ago we were in it and now it's just absolutely epic. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know if we're gonna stay until sunset, but we're gonna do some exploring here, see what we see and then figure it out from there. There are only a few places in the world like this. Places where you sit on peaks as clouds lift towards you. Places where you look below and feel like you're sitting in an airplane looking down on the world. Okay, so we decided to go on a little bit of a hike towards the epic. Basically, we didn't plan anything other than we said, that looks pretty awesome, let's go that way. And that's what we're doing right now. It is absolutely unreal up here. We're above the clouds, but kind of partially in them. And yeah, just going on an exploration along this ridge to this other peak up over there. But this is definitely my happy place right here. I'm loving this. From the top, the hike across the peak seems short and flat, but as we pop down the steps along the ridge, it becomes more and more evident that it'll be a bit of a slog back across. And strangely, even though it's only 1,800 meters above sea level, you can feel there's less oxygen here. The air up here is cool, it's refreshing, and the occasional wave of cloud breaks across the ridge like a misty shower. It's the type of place that makes you feel alive. Okay, so yeah, this is awesome. We had to walk well, we didn't have to walk. We walked all the way down from the top here. Um, open street map says it was 168 meters of descent. So now we've got to climb that. And I think it's cool enough here that we're going to stay for sunset. So we'll go up to the top, hang out at the bar for a little bit, and then pull out camera gear. And hopefully the light looks awesome up here. And hopefully we stay above the clouds. After scouting the other viewpoint, we retreat across the ridge in hopes that we can find a bit of shelter from the wind that seems to be picking up. Mm -hmm. 
Man alive! I don't know why I said that. So, <laughs> man alive! I don't know where that came from. Just what came out when I was trying to be excited. I am excited though, because we decided to walk to the other side and there's just rolling cloud and some spots of earth peeking out and it's absolutely unreal to be up here above the clouds. In the words of a 2010s college kid, hashtag no words. Hashtag no words. Okay, so this is straight up so much fun. We're up here uh, above it all, essentially, and the clouds are just pushing through, and occasionally these different peaks are popping up. You've got ridges. Actually, that's a really cool moment right there. And you're just kind of waiting for the right opening in the clouds and it's almost like seascape photography catching the right wave and i'm playing around with slightly not slightly long exposures i'm playing around with long exposures i've got five seconds and the way the clouds are pushing up it almost looks like water splashing off it's really really fun and we're not even close to sunset we've got like two hours i can see myself just sitting here playing with different photos and compositions and uh, exposure times and focal lengths if I didn't say that already and just messing around because I see so much going on you've got this ridge leading up to this other peak there's some trees up on the ridges or on the peaks as well you can play with this is just so so much fun and you don't have to move so for a lazy photographer like me this is phenomenal I sit at the viewpoint for about an hour and though I take literal dozens of photos I think this fairly simple one is my favorite. And after a while, I start to feel itchy feet and go searching for a new photo. Okay, so I'm not actually. I'm actually not sure any of those photos worked because the wind was blowing so hard that even two and a half seconds was just too much wind. Um, so yeah, hopefully they, those photos worked out. And the wind, as I mentioned, has picked up. We've come back to the opposite side and I'm photographing straight into the sunset with this path meandering into this mountain. And at the moment I'm taking an image with like a sun star at F16 up in the top don't know if it looks good but it's an effort and hoping that eventually when the sun gets right on top of these clouds we'll get a bunch of color and it will look pretty awesome so um yeah that's the plan been waiting it out and waiting it out and it looks like the sun is gonna dip right at the peak here which might be perfect but I'm stressed a little bit for two reasons one I'm getting tons of sunspots and I actually can't use like the trick of putting my finger in front of it because it gets right into the mountain but I'm still trying that trick but lots and lots of sunspots and secondly because I still haven't decided if I want to go landscape or portrait orientation Portrait orientation, you get the nice trail and it tells much more of a story, but you lose all this awesome stuff on the side. So I'm gonna try to do both and just try to be super quick with it. I managed to get both. Which do you prefer? Personally, I think the landscape orientation photo is far more powerful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I don't know how the photos came out, but this is so epic up here. Sun's just gone down behind the clouds. You can see there's a bunch of tourists walking on the ridge. It is so awesome here. And I think we're gonna come back for sunrise too. We roll the car down the steep hill back through the clouds. It feels like a time warp or like we're swapping dimensions. And in the morning, we find ourselves back at the windy viewpoint surrounded by epic.
Now we're back up for sunrise and it is epic once again just an absolute blanket of clouds all the way pointing whatever direction the sun normally rises <laughs> to the east and um, yeah right now it's almost a bit too much of a blanket of clouds but occasionally just spaces open up and you see some of these hills and mountains and ridges and it looks absolutely epic with a bit of a long exposure. I'm at 10 seconds now. I probably need to get down to about five seconds because it's starting to get too bright, but you get just all this awesome movement in the clouds. These photos will go down as some of my favorites of the year. I love how the clouds jump off the square crop image. I love the simplicity of the trees peering through the clouds here. Even this lazy photo of the sun rising has some power. And then there's this absolute epic of the entire landscape with an icing of fog. And I am absolutely loving this. In fact, it's broken up so much, I think I see the ocean. Is that my imagination? We're 1,500 meters up, do I see the ocean? <laughs> that is the ocean. So yeah, this has been awesome, absolutely epic. I mean, it still is with like a long lens into this misty stuff here, all catching light. It's absolutely epic. It's just nonstop awesome. I, uh, I don't know how great the photos are. It's very windy. So some of the stuff might have been a bit shaky. I kind of got stuck a little bit on this composition. Tried to do some longer lens stuff with these trees way off in the distance, but uh, we'll see how it comes out in the edit. But regardless, it was really, really fun. And this has been awesome on the top of Madeira. And I'll, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Let me tell you quickly about today's sponsor. Squarespace is an amazing place for photographers and bloggers to build a really professional looking website really quickly and easily. It has a lot of templates that make it simple to get started. You have great resources too, like members only areas. Easy to build stores for selling arts and even services. Of course, there's also lots of other great tools for creators such as a logo maker and in-depth analytics. So if you're looking for a photography website or portfolio, head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for a 10% discount on your first purchase. Link in the description.